Hello, my name is Maria, and today I'm going to show you how to connect the Word Alerts for SharePoint to your Teams. The Word Alerts and Reminders app offers a wide range of features to build a flexible notification system for your business process. But do you know that Word Alerts integrates easily with Microsoft Teams? A huge number of users are active in Teams every day, and most of our clients as well. If you follow the steps from this video, you and your colleagues will be informed in Teams about any changes you wish without knowing necessity to switch between SharePoint, Mail Client and Alerts to see what the notification is about. This option may be useful for almost any case. For example, when you receive a purchase order and need your team to check it instantly, to welcome a new teammate or announce someone's birthday, to remind your colleagues to prepare a business trip report, and etc. So, what are the steps which I'm going to show you? In my example, we have a SharePoint list with companies and their contracts. And I'm going to send alerts to my colleagues when a new company is added to the list. So, technically, when a new SharePoint list item is created. On the first step, make sure you already have further alerts for SharePoint installed and added to your SharePoint site. The second step, open your Teams and choose a team which you are going to use for your alerts. I'm choosing Sales. And now the next step, we have to create an incoming webhook. So we're going to the settings of your team and find connectors there. And in the list of connectors, we're going to find incoming webhook. Click Add and Add. Now type the title of your incoming webhook. So let it be alerts from SharePoint contracts list. And on the next tab, you have to copy this URL to the clipboard. So this is the URL which we are going to use for our alert. Click done and let's move to the next step. We're going back to the um, router SharePoint alerts and create an alert using our incoming webhook. So click add, select the list. This is contract list in our case. Change type will be new items are added and title will be uh, new contract in the list. Now let's move to the recipients block and this is our next step. We have to paste our URL which we copied to the clipboard this field Microsoft Teams webhook URL so just paste the link and customize the appearance of your message the subject will be new item in the contracts list and the message will be for example hey guys Please take a look at the new contract. And click Save. That's it. Now we just have to check how it works. So we have uh, our ad edit uh, alert, new contract is on the list. And uh, we should go back to our list and uh, try to create a new item. So I click new, I add company, for example, ABC, click save. So new company, new item is added to the list and we should check how we receive alerts in Teams. So we're going to Teams and here it is, we can see our alert. Alerts from SharePoint contract list. This is the name of our webhook. New item in the contract list. That was the title of our alert in Virtual Alerts. 
and hey guys, please take a look at the new contract using the message of our alert. As you can see, this option allows you to track any SharePoint changes and receive alerts in a single place. Thank you for watching the video. Be on the lookout for more videos on how to use our products for your SharePoint site. Bye!